we want to solve this equation and notice this is an absolute value equation. So don't forget to first isolate the absolute value. To do so, I will add 3 to both sides of the equation. So I'll have the absolute value of 6x minus 5 is equal to negative 2 plus 3, which is a positive 1. So I did isolate the absolute value. Now, for the absolute value of 6x minus 5 to equal 1, that means what is inside here, and that is the expression 6x minus 5, must equal 1, or 6x minus 5 must equal negative 1. And all we need to do is solve these two linear equations. If I add 5 to both sides here, I'll have 6x is equal to 1 plus 5, or 6. Then divide both sides by the coefficient of x, and you'll have 1 as one solution. I'll let you check it. Or here I'll add 5 to both sides, and I'll have 6x is equal to negative 1 plus 5, and negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 6, and we'll have x is 4 over 6, but let's go ahead and simplify. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my solution set is the set containing 1 and also 2 thirds. Both of these are solutions to the original equation.